What a way to kick off the 2022 NFL season. The Buffalo Bills are out for blood. They just completely bullied the defending, the reigning, the Super Bowl champs in their home stadium, in their hometown. The Bills saw the Rams celebrating, putting banners up, doing all this celebration, and the Bills were pissed. Josh Allen saw that. Not just from last year when they lost to KC, they didn't get a chance to come back and score on touchdown overtime. Rules change now, but they weren't messing around tonight. Ken Dorsey, very creative tonight. Josh Allen, getting the ball out, had an amazing night. Threw two interceptions, but one wasn't even his fault. He was a, he was a leading rusher for his team. Josh Allen did it all. You know, and the defense did his job. That defense was phenomenal. So I'm going to give you my thoughts here. I'm going to go through some of the stats, some of the stuff that happened in this game. You guys are going to let me know what you think. You know, if you enjoy NFL content, football, this is the place for you. Make sure to like, subscribe, put that post notification bell on to any future videos because if you miss out, you miss out. You know, we're here all season doing content all season. So let's get right into it. So the Buffalo Bills versus the Los Angeles Rams. So the passing, Josh Allen's insane. 26-31. 297 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. One of those interceptions weren't even his fault. Isaiah McKenzie just bobbled it. Rams defender just came up with it. I think it was Lewis, the linebacker, that came up with it. So not a good way for Isaiah McKenzie, for Isaiah McKenzie to start the game. But then Josh Allen ran for ran nine times for 56 yards, 5.6 average, one touchdown. Singletary and Moss looked decent. This was a question mark I had going into this game. You know, if Singletary and Moss can get anything going, can help this Buffalo Bills run game, you know, the run game was going to be important to try and take the edge off that Los Angeles Rams defense. Really wasn't an edge on that defense tonight. That defensive line was not what it looked like last year. It was nowhere near what it looked like last year. On the other hand, the Bills offensive line was beautiful. They were in sync. They weren't letting anything through. You know, they had a very good night. And... That's one of the big reasons why this Bills team led to a win. Not just, you know, Josh Allen's a huge part. When you have a quarterback like Josh Allen, it makes everything a hell of a lot easier. When you do have an offensive line, when you have very good wide receivers, when you have, you know, running backs that are looking better than they usually do, things are going to fall your way. When the defense is, when you have that kind of defense, things are going to fall your way. So... Cook didn't get much playing time. You know, it was one guy I was wanted to see. I wanted to see what kind of playing time he would get, you know, what targets he would get out of the backfield if you would run the ball at all. Ran the ball once for two yards. Really it for him. But, I mean, you go and you look at these receiving games, right? Or, or the receiving, or the receivers. They, they, they did their jobs, to say the least. Stephon Diggs absolutely cooked Ramsey. Stephon Diggs had no issue today. Stephon Diggs had eight receptions for 122 yards and two touchdowns. That's that's one touchdown. No, two touchdowns. That, that, that is a very good day, especially when you're going up against Jalen Ramsey, one of the best corners in the league. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be dogging on him lately. Didn't play the best in the Super Bowl. Didn't play, play the best in the opener. You know, it's something to keep an eye on. Ramsey's struggling a little bit in two big games. There's no doubt that he's still a good corner. It's just, you know, he better come back next week. He he better find a way to bounce back this, you know, for the rest of the season. Because these last two games, two big games, just did not play well. So, Gabriel Davis, you know, someone that was being hyped up big time throughout the entire offseason. The offseason, not just for fantasy, but for football in general. Everyone was excited for Gabriel Davis, and he showed everyone why. He had a crazy game versus KC in the playoffs. Four touchdowns. Just a career game. And to have it in a playoff game but to still lose kind of really sucks. Uh, but he had four receptions for 88 yards and one touchdown today. Very impressed with him. You know, he had that one nice touchdown early on in the game. Nice little play action. Josh Allen rolls out, throws it to Gabriel Davis, and he's gone for the touchdown. I, you know, everyone was so excited because it's a guy that we all have been rooting for. The You know, the guy that we're all excited for. And he makes a play right out of the gate. That's That's promising. You know, because the Bills needed someone consistent outside of Stephon, outside of Stephon Diggs. Davis is looking like that guy, and then you have other guys like, like Isaiah McKenzie, uh, Jamison Crowder, who looked very, very good out there, showing some nice veteran presence. 
Uh, it's very good in a wide receiver room. Very savvy. Very, you know, Jamison Crowder is fast as well. Made a few nice catches, important catches. He knows how to get into the south zone, into the south parts of the zone, into the weak parts of the zone, and it showed. He got a few big balls today, and um. Moss and Singletary, as I said earlier, they were decent. You know, they were a lot better than I expected them to be, and the offensive line was better than I expected it to be. On the other end, Rams' defensive line was a lot worse than I expected it to be. So, um, Bill's offensive line was very important to this win today. They held that Rams' defensive line in check. They held the blitzes in check. Josh Allen ran around if he needed to. Josh Allen, as we already stated, had a pretty damn good day, day on the ground. In the air, Josh Allen just doing Josh Allen things. He even rushes for a touchdown. You know, it's very difficult to defend that. But at the end of the day, the Rams do need to get more pressure. Um, let's move on to the Bills, onto the defensive side of the ball for the Bills. So, the defense was incredible. Defense, you know, the defensive line went after. And in my pregame, in my preview, I said that the O-line and the defensive line are going to have to be very good this game. And both of them were very good, and they both won. And whoever had... And whoever made the most after turnovers was a team that was going to win. The Bills did that, and, you know, it prevailed. Uh, Josh Allen is more dynamic than Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford is a close to elite passer. I'm not sure about elite. You know, I'd probably put him right there if not. But Josh Allen Josh Allen adds that running game to his, to his, to his repertoire as well. Josh Allen is phenomenal. And, um... You know, you know, having the offensive line protecting you and then having the defensive line making big plays, helping the rest of the defense get the interceptions and get fumbles and get what they need to get. Boogie Basham with the with the amazing pick and run for quite a few yards. Boogie Basham, one of the best nicknames in the NFL, if not the best name in the, in the NFL. And you, and you want to know what's scary? The Bills did this without their superstar cornerback, Tredavious White. Kyrie Elam, Johnson, uh, Ben Ford... Von Miller, uh, Epinenza, Boogie Basham, Matt Oliver, Jordan Phillips. This defensive line rotation may be the nastiest in the NFL. It may be the nastiest in the NFL. Uh, get, they were getting pressure all day. Seven sacks. The Rams offensive line couldn't do anything. The Rams offensive line, no matter what they did, you know, there's only so much a quarterback like Matthew Stafford could do when you're under duress, when you're under that much pressure throughout the entire game. You're constantly getting hit, constantly under pressure. And then on top of that, the only receiver that showed up that showed up was Cooper Cup. No one else showed up. Where was Allen Robinson that you're paying big money to? Where was Tutu Atwell that you drafted, you know, higher than people expected a few years ago? He's a speedster, yeah. Um, but the offensive line sucked. You know, it was very bad. You know, Henderson tried to get some yards. He tried to get some room, and he had, you know, he had a few okay runs, but not much you could do when you don't have much room to run. Uh, so, it's just the Rams, you know, are they going to be caught in a Super Bowl hangover? Week one, it says they are, but it's only week one. Sean McVay, very well coached team. Matthew Stafford, very disciplined. Uh, most of the time, you know, sometimes he throws a little boneheaded passes, but Josh Allen does that too. Um, aggressive quarterbacks are going to do that, and most of the time, aggressive quarterbacks are going to bring you far. Defenses have to be guessing. They can't just leave it open because you're going to be aggressive. And you're going to make you pay, especially if they have the talent and the arm talent to do so. So, man, I will tell you, this Buffalo Bills team is looking like they... I know it's only week one, but I mean, even without their star corner, they held the Los Angeles Rams to, uh, to one, to one touchdown, ultimately in ten points. Which, wow, this I I I just can't believe how bad the Buffalo Bills just beat up on the Rams. We all knew the Bills would be very good. Where you know a lot of people's pick to win the Super Bowl and proven why tonight. I mean, I I know I keep saying it. It's only week one. And week one, you shouldn't take much away from, but when the Bills beat such a talented team like the Rams, you know, that's a big deal. Big deal. Uh, you know, and, and I said before the preview, the Rams lost a few offensive linemen. They lost Andrew Whitworth. The savvy vet, that, that, that was rough. Joseph Noteboom, 
got beat quite a few times. He got bullied by Von Miller a few reps. One rep early in the game, Von Miller just blew by him, pushed him around, and went and, and, and got the sack pretty easily. Joe Noteboom, a tackle that we were really excited for this year, a lot of people were pretty high on, just did not show up, did not have the game, did not play the way we expected him to. Hopefully he gets better throughout the season. Hopefully this offensive line gets better throughout the season. Otherwise, it's going to be a long, long season for, for Matthew Stafford. He's going to be getting hit 10, 12 times a game, maybe even more. He's going to be getting sacked four or five times a game, maybe even more as we saw tonight, seven. Excuse me. But someone else needs to show up, step up outside Cooper Cup. You know, it's... When Tredavious White comes back, this defense is... I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about this defense with Tredavious White. They did what they did tonight without him. Kyrie Elam looked phenomenal. The rookie looked phenomenal. Johnson, on the other hand, he was okay. But I think Ben Pro is better. Uh, linebackers were phenomenal. Tremaine Edmonds and Matt Milano. There's not a, there is not a single spot in this Bills team where you could go, where you could go to someone... With a straight face, being realistic that this Bills team has a big hole somewhere. Safety. They have Poyer and Micah Hyde. Two of some of the best safeties in the NFL. And they have them both. They have one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. They have one of the best rookie cornerbacks in the NFL. They have one of the best defensive lines in the NFL from tonight. Rotations. Depth. Basham. Miller. <laughs> the list goes on. Epinenza, uh, Ed Oliver, Jordan Phillips. <laughs> this Bills team is out of this world. Uh, as I already mentioned, linebackers are phenomenal. Some of the best linebackers in the league. You go to the offensive side of the ball, you have one of the you have the best route runner in the league. If not the best, one of the best. You have Gabriel Davis, who's a breakout star, who is a up and coming candidate. Jamison Crowder, Isaiah McKenzie, two guys that are solid. Jamison Crowder provides that veteran presence. Isaiah McKenzie has his good and bad plays. He made up for the drop ball, for the jumble that turned to interception. He caught a touchdown earlier to make a two-possession game. Two-possession two game, which ultimately kind of put the nail in the dagger. Kind of put the nail in the coffin. <laughs> That's how the saying goes, not nail in the coffin. Or not nail it. You know what I'm saying. Um, let's see if there's anything else I have written on here. Uh, yeah, you know, seeing Von Miller on the other side tonight really showed how important he was to that Rams team last year and how important he has been to defenses in the past. Von Miller is just, he's an animal. Wherever he goes, you know, he's still as talented as some of the best edge rushers in the league. And he showed that last year and this year. Von Miller is incredible, and he is going to open things up for the rest of this defense line like he did tonight. This Bills team is something special. If there's a team that goes 17-0, and wins the Super Bowl, this is the team that's going to do it. You know, it's I mean, it's a long shot to win 17 games. It is if they sit their players the last few games whatever you know whatever happens but you guys heard my thoughts here tonight you know is it the buffalo bills just that dominant of a football team or is it the los angeles rams on a super bowl hangover maybe a little bit of both you guys let me know what you think that's all i got for you today let me know your thoughts on this oh on this nfl opener were you hoping this to for this to be a much closer game? I was. I was thinking it was going to be a much closer game. So, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show. Where fans welcome. Uh, I hope you all have a good night. I hope you all are ready for the NFL season. It's a long year, fun year in store. You know, whether your favorite team played or not, you were happy that football is back. You should be happy that football is back. So, this is JW signing off.